I'm sorry, what's that? You wanna try something different on the grill? All right, how about we do some asabuco? It's on, baby. Like I said, we're gonna do asabuco. Now normally the way asabuco is done, it's just braised in a pot with vegetables, but not us, no, 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 no. We are fogo charcoal. We're gonna do some smoking first, over the top, let all the fats drip down into that beautiful pot right there. It's gonna season all those veggies so good, it's gonna be outstanding. So we're gonna smoke it and then braise it. Let's get started. Now, traditional asabuco is actually made with veal shanks. We got these beautiful beef shanks, so that's what we're gonna do. Our first step, we're gonna tie them up so that as they braise, they don't gonna completely fall apart on us. So we're gonna tie them up right around the bones so they stay in one big solid piece. Now we got these up seasoned up with just salt and pepper. That's all we're putting on them. The difference between a traditional asabuco and what we're gonna do here is that normally we dredge this in flour and then sear it in the pot. Instead, we're all about the charcoal. We're all about the outdoor cooking. Get out and grill. So we're gonna put these on top of here and we're gonna smoke them for about an hour. Then we're gonna braise them. So that big, beautiful bag of charcoal we just had, well, guess what? We're not even gonna open it. You know why? Because last time I cooked, I had a bunch of charcoal left. I shut down the egg, and if you look, the charcoal is still perfectly fine to use, okay? We can reuse our charcoal. That's the beautiful thing about cooking in Kamado cookers. So let's get this fire lit and get going. All right, we have hit 300 degrees on our grill, so it's time to put the smoking blocks in. We're gonna use some barrel-proof bourbon blocks this time. I'm gonna put them in down to the coals, get the smelling so good. <clears throat> Take out our expander. Okay, set it down. I'm just gonna take a couple of these blocks here. Ah, I set it right down here in the fire. One, two, and I'll put one over here too. Three, that should be good, okay? So, we're gonna put the expander back in, put the meat on there, put the pot in there, and get this whole thing going. Let's do it. And now we put the meat on. So we're gonna put it, take the meat, it's been sitting out for about 10, 15 minutes, so it'll allow it to come to room temperature, it'll allow all that salt and pepper to do its magic. So we'll put it on over the pot, so all that fat and everything is gonna drizzle down into this pot. We're gonna put all the vegetables in there right after that. All right, we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make what's called a bouquet garni. It's basically a bunch of herbs that's gonna be tied up in a piece of cheesecloth. So I have rosemary, thyme, and parsley. Um, sage, not parsley, sage. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Do it like that. I'm just gonna tie this up. Use one stick of celery. Okay, so the recipe calls for five cloves of garlic, five, so I'm gonna use seven. Everybody wants to do this, but no, not me. I go like this, okay? It opens it up, and guess what? Boom, pops right off. No sharp edges. Now we've been smoking for about an hour and a half, so these things are ready. You should see the way they curled up. They look funny, so let's check them out. Ooh wee, yes, they are looking good. Okay, so we're gonna take these off here for a minute. Let's take our pot out here. Look at all of that beautiful liquids and everything that, that rendered down. Mm-mm, they call that flavor, baby, flavor. One-way trip to Flavortown. 
All right, so we're gonna assemble our asobuco braising liquid. So we're gonna start with two cups of beef broth, one cup of red wine. So we have our diced celery, we have our diced carrots, we have everything here. So we're just gonna load all of this right in there. Throw it about a handful, it calls for a cup, so that's probably somewhere around a cup. Carrots are important because it's gonna add a nice sweetness to it. Quarter of a cup balsamic, two tablespoons of tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, Woohoo! All right, same thing. We're going with about a quarter of a cup, bouquet garni. We're gonna throw that right in. Now let's grab our meats. Woo-wee, look at how they really curled up, man. Wowzers, all right. So we're gonna take these, see that bone there? Okay, get it nice, nice down and in there. Like I said, we're gonna put our lid back on. Now, you can use cast iron for this. You don't want your wife or her husband yelling at you for using a good Le Creuset. It's gonna look like that. It does clean up, takes a little bit of elbow grease, but there we go. We'll let this cook. We're coming along at about 300, 325 degrees right now. Shouldn't take too much longer, another about maybe hour and a half, two hours. We're gonna have fall apart beef shank. I can't wait, it's gonna be so good. And I do mean so good. Okay, so it's been a long day, but now we got about three hours of full cooking time with this thing. So it's smoked for an hour, and now it's braised for about just over two hours. So, but it is tender, falling apart, juicy goodness. Let's take it off of the grill, put it over here, serve it up, and let's feast on some asobuco, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's falling apart. I'd say that that's tender. What do you think? Yeah, the half of it right here, look at that. Finally, my favorite part, eating time. I love me some asobuco. I grew up in New York, that's what we ate, okay? So let me grab a little piece down here. Grab some juices, grab some. Mm. Look at that, let's go. Oh. Holy <laughs> that's good. It's that good. It is that good. Oh my. You wanna impress somebody? Make them this dish. The smokiness, just a hint of smokiness. A red wine, you can make it with white or red, make it with red. This is, this is unbelievable. I mean, hands down, that's the best asabuco I've ever had. <laughs> wow. It makes me weak in the knees. Delicious. Just delicious. Delicioso. I have to get back to eating this, so I'm gonna sign off. Listen, do us a favor. If you like what you saw here, hit subscribe, all right? Ring the bell, put on notifications. Come back next week and see another video. And next time, see another video. Check out our other videos. Hit like, give us a comment, and listen, it's coming to be summertime. Get out and grill. And thanks for tuning us in for another week at a Fogo Life. See you next time.